everyone. Hope everybody's doing good today. So today we're going to be doing a hamster drawing. I get all these requests all the time and this one is from my niece Kyle. Um, she wanted to do a hamster so I thought how about not just a hamster let's make a maze out of the little hamster tubes that they crawl through and you can be creative and design your maze however you want. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this with just easy shapes. So we're just going to use rectangles, more rectangles, we're going to curve some lines here um, to create whatever kind of little hamster cage creation you want. So if you want, you can use a ruler if you want your lines to be real straight. I didn't use mine here so you can see it's a little bit wiggly but totally fine. All you need is just to be creative and have fun with this. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with my middle pieces here and using a ruler I want to just make my rectangles just a little bit longer than my tubes because they're the ones that are connecting them together. So I'm going to start with three rectangles. And I'm going to try to put them as close as I can to like the same size. So one, two, three in a row um, and just leaving little gaps. But if you don't get them perfect, that's totally fine. And you don't even have to do the same design as me, right? So if you want like your tubes to be going like all crazy in different directions and make a super awesome intricate hamster design, you totally can do that too. And even some of mine kind of went off the page a little bit. That's fine. And then I put my little hamster down here in this little circle in here in the bottom, but you know, keep in mind you can change it. Maybe I could have put my circle there, or I could have added a bunch of circles and put multiple hamsters. So you know, just be thinking about that while we're drawing. So I'm going to connect these two blocks right now since I have my three rectangles. If you need to pause the video to draw your rectangles, you can. And again, you don't have to use a ruler. Um, but when I put my ruler down, it makes it really nice, easy peasy to connect all of these four spaces. So I'm going to just make a little line here on this side because that's going to be a curved one. I'm going to connect this one. I'm going to connect this one. And then I'm just going to do a little line here too because this one's also going to be a curved one going down. And then I can do the same thing on the bottom here. And actually I want to do even a tinier line here on the bottom on that first one. Because I need to make that one curve a little bit sooner than the top. So same thing, just a little curve here. And then I'm going to make these two rectangles first before I make my curves here. So this rectangle, you're just going to leave a little space, go a little bit lower. One rectangle here, so right here, leave a little tiny space, go a little bit lower, and that rectangle is going to go the opposite way. Again, if you're making the same one as me. So I'm going to stop. I don't want to touch that tube. I'm just going to leave a little space. And again, these do not even have to be the same. I just want you to be creative with this project. So fun. We used to have a hamster. Now we have two guinea pigs in the house. Do you guys have any pets? We also have a cat and a dog. If you saw my drawing the other day, you saw our little doggy. However, I am allergic to the cats, well, the cat and the guinea pigs, so I don't get to see them very much. So I'm going to make this rectangle right here, this pink one, and I'm just going to come down as far as I want, and I'm going to make my rectangle. I probably should have made my rectangle first, but you know. Sometimes art doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes we make mistakes. And in class I tell you if you make a mistake, you just turn it into a masterpiece. So that's what I'm going to try to do. 
So I got this tube over here. I got these guys up here. Remember to pause if you need to. But I'm going to go ahead and add my curve right here. So right here on the top, and I'm just going to free in this unless you have something to trace. I'm just going to curve this down to the other side, and then I'm going to curve this one down. Just do the best you can. And then I'm going to curve this line over here. So same thing. Just do the best you can. And a little curve here so that that hamster can get all the way from one space to the next. Now down here at the bottom, I'm going to create these two rectangles. Um, so I'm going to start with the one where I leave a little space right here. And these tubes might not be as tall as the other ones. This one might go off the page because of how I drew it. And then I'm going to leave a little space here. You can see this one kind of comes down about halfway between that yellow tube over here. So I've got this tube right here. I'm going to make my rectangle first. you're like me and I really want my lines to be straight like hers. I wish I had a ruler. You can use anything. You can use a straight edge. So right here's a book. I do this and I can do it sideways. So if I don't have a straight edge, I can just take this and put it down there and oops, which line was I drawn? This one. I can do the same thing. I'm going to leave a little space for my, where my tube's going to come up. There we go. But yeah, makes the same kind of straight lines. Just try not to write on those books. We want to keep those nice. They're very important right now. All right, so I'm going to bring this line down. So you can actually just connect from where you started there. Kind of looking to see where this is because I want them to kind of match up. And then I'm going to bring this line over here. And then I can just make that little curve. Easy peasy, right? Now on this one, this tube went off the page, so this one it doesn't. So I'm going to bring this down. And then it's going to go off the page here at the bottom this time, so I'm just going to bring this curve down. And then, I'm trying to even think if I have anything here. Um, if you have something that you can trace to make your circle, you can totally do that, but you don't have to. So I'm going to finish my um, tubes here first. So this one can be connected down here, right? And down here. And then this green one is kind of cool. It's going to go up and then it's going to go to both sides. So he kind of has like a little room to run here. I'm just going to make my lines about halfway up. And then this is fun because we're going to connect this all the way across. So if you put your ruler down and just follow mine, you can see, make that line go up a little more so it's even. I'm going to draw out this way, hop over, go off the page, I'm gonna go out this way, hop over, and go off the page and then I'm going to make a line just about the same width as the rest of the hamster tubes up here. I'm going to do the same thing. Only this line's going to go all the way across. And now it looks like this hamster tube is going behind this one. Isn't that cool? You can see it on my color one a little easier because my green one goes behind the pink. How fun is that? Now, for our hamster, again, you can put it anywhere. Maybe I'll make, make it different. I'm going to put my little hamster right up here. So I'm going to make my circle. Maybe this is just a clear opening, so he's just looking at us through there. Now, this line for our hamster, it's going to be um, kind of like a rainbow line, but it's going to be a little zigzag. So I'm going to start here at the top, and I'm going to come down this side, and then kind of zigzag it so it makes it look furry. And then this side, I'm going to bring it over and make them look a little furry on this side, too. 
And then to make his feet, we're just going to make two little rectangle, or sorry, getting ahead of myself, two little rainbow lines here with two lines for the little claws. And then a hamster's ear, so I'm going to put those in there. They're nice and round. And I think they're like a little pinched, right? Like they're kind of pointed on the back, so I'm going to put that little line in there. And then, like I tell you for all the animals, you guys can make whatever kind of eyes you want. I'm going to make my nose here. It's a triangle pointing down with a little backwards J, forwards J. Get my eyes in here, my ovals, fill in the bottom. Then I'm going to give my hamster some whiskers. One, two, three. And then when you color, you can see I colored mine to look like he was brown and white. Now, ooh, real quick before we start coloring, sign your artwork if you did it with Sharpie or pencil. Let's sign those initials down there. And then I started with pink and it actually turned out perfect rainbow colors because I did red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue, purple. Um, all of these colors here are the ones I used. And when I put them in order, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. If you do them the way that I did, eight colors will work out perfectly twice and then it meets up with the purple to the pink again, which is kind of cool. And then I just colored my little hamster with, you know, his brown, left the white spots white, and his belly brown. His ears and brown around the outside. And what color is your hamster? Or if you had a hamster, what color hamster would you want to have? Maybe when you're done coloring a picture, you could go write a story about your hamster. You give him a name. Now, real quick before I go here and finish coloring my hamster, um, remember when we color, you know, blue is a good color to show you with, different space this time though. If you want something to look round and these tubes are round, I'm going to color all one shade nice and neat, same direction first. And then anytime you want something to look round, you're going to color it a little bit darker on the edges. So I'm going to color it darker here. I'm going to color it darker here. Now that doesn't necessarily look round yet, so what I need to do is I'm going to shade it a little bit and I'm going to put like a medium layer in here. So it's not super dark, it's not super light, it's kind of medium here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top, going towards the middle. Hopefully that looks round for you guys at home. And now my tube looks three-dimensional instead. So instead of it just being a flat shape, it now becomes a 3D form. So instead of it being a rectangle, now it's a cylinder, right? All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this hamster drawing. And I want to see yours when we're done. Let me give you a close-up here of this guy. I'm going to finish product. All right. You guys enjoy your drawings today. And I will see you guys later.